looking to get away this weekend, and New Orleans could be somewhere you want to go because from now till September, they have some really, really cool things happening at their restaurants. When you watch Princess and the Frog, do you get a sense of just love and happiness in your heart? Uh, yes. Certainly, certainly. It's a it's an inspiration and it, it really keeps us and my family motivated to keep serving in the community. You know, that that movie uh and what my grandmother was able to do in, in her time uh in serving the community, it certainly inspires my family. I hopefully it inspires many more, mm -hmm. but it, it gives us what we need to keep moving. A little animosity out there in the street about what's the best restaurant in New Orleans. <laughs> I won't make you say you have the best restaurant, but I want to know what's the best thing on the menu. Yes, the best thing on the menu in which everybody comes for is either our gumbo or our fried chicken. Yeah, certainly. And, and you talk about the best restaurants in New Orleans. I said New Orleans have so many restaurants. We're all the best. Mm -hmm. We have so many different dishes that we all celebrate our culture. So certainly at Dookie Chase, our gumbo and fried chicken. Mm -hmm. But there's so many restaurants that you have to try their staple dishes, which is why culinary is one of the best events that we do in this city. So can you tell me a little bit more about culinary and like, do I need to come with a whole bunch of money for this? Or there's like little, <laughs> little affordable things I can eat at every restaurant? Yeah, that's the best part about culinary in New Orleans. We have over 125 of our restaurants participating. Many of our iconic restaurants are offering their staple dishes at discounted prices. So you're getting the best of New Orleans at a discounted price. So yes, tell your family, your friends, and everybody else who wants to celebrate the love of food and culture and music here in New Orleans, this is the perfect time to visit this city. So you guys are people who've been there forever. And, you know, we're, we're cousins because I'm from Mississippi, so I need to know, you know, what are we missing out on? We kind of go to Acme and all the places that are typical. Can you give us more places we should check out and more things we should do when we come to New Orleans? Yeah, we have Willie Mays. Um, we have new restaurants, Morrow's. Uh, we have a bunch of, you know, Commander's Palace is a staple. We have a bunch of restaurants here in the city that you're not going to leave hungry and you're going to leave feeling great. Yeah, when you when you touch the New Orleans restaurants, you're really touching the heart and soul of our culture. You're getting that chef's passion, their love of food, and they're putting it on a plate and they're serving it to you. So when you come down here, visit each and every one of our restaurants. You won't have a bad experience. You're going to fall in love with this place we call New Orleans like we all do. Hey, and any website you want me to send the folks to? Yeah, certainly. For more information, go to neworleans.com, not only for culinary, but our many festivals coming up. We have our Satchmo Fest, Po Boy Fest, Fried Chicken Fest, Gumbo Fest. We have a festival for everything. You can see here in New Orleans, we love to celebrate our culture, our food, and our music. So we're looking forward to seeing you, and come on down and celebrate with us.